Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. So Miracle at Manchester is an inspirational drama that actually tells the story of Bryson Newman, a high school athlete who is diagnosed with aggressive brain cancer. And even in his darkest times, Bryson's father, Rick, becomes his greatest support and advocate. And as their father son bond grows, they find their friends, community and strangers are praying for Bryson's resulting in something miraculous. And joining us this morning to tell us more is director and actor Eddie McClintock. Good morning, Eddie, and then thanks for uh, giving us a little bit of your time. Uh, good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, Eddie, tell us a little bit about Miracle at Manchester. I know I kind of gave a little bit of a backstory, but if you don't mind telling us what it's about. Yeah, uh, well, as you said, this uh, young man, he was uh, an outstanding athlete, um, started getting uh, headaches and nosebleeds, um, went, went into the emergency ro room a few times and they sent him home with, uh, you know, a bottle of aspirin. And his father, Rick, who uh, <laughs> wasn't taking no for an answer, was very uh, persistent and said, you know, I know my kid, something's wrong with my kid. And um, they end up finding this very aggressive uh, uh, form of cancer in, in his head. And um, it's just about his journey uh, through that process, with the two of them together, um, and then uh, how the community comes together. And, um, and uh, you know, it, it's, um, it's not your typical Hollywood film. This is actually a film about uh, hope and faith and, um, you know, a brand new day. Now, did you have an opportunity to meet the real life family? And, and, and if you did, what, what was that like to talk to them? I did, I worked with, uh, I saw Rick and Bryce every day. Uh, Bryson is now in college, uh, getting ready to graduate. And his dad, uh, you know, we, he picked me up every morning to, to go to work. And so I, I got to pick their brains for the two weeks that we were down in San Diego shooting. And um, they have an amazing relationship and it was, uh, it was really great to see. So you also directed the movie, is that correct? Correct. Tell us about that. How were you able to balance those two roles as being a director and an actor? It's pretty impressive, if I might say uh, so myself. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I was, and I'm not, I wasn't considered a classic overachiever when I was a young man, but uh, you know, this opportunity was uh, presented to me um, my dad, uh, who was my hero, you know, he was very excited to hear that I was going to get to direct my, my first film. And, um, you know, I've been acting for about 25 years out here in, in California. And um, unfortunately, my dad, uh, my dad passed away right before um, we started working on the, the film. So it was, you know, I... Uh, you know, interesting um, to say the least, uh, being able to kind of carry the spirit of my father into this uh, into this experience, especially when um, you know the film itself is about a, a, the love of a, a father and his son. So um, it, uh, it it's a pretty important film for me. Uh, it's got a lot of love in it, and um, and I, I hope that we have expressed that. Um, and we'll be able to express that to the audience. Now, where and uh, when will people be able to see the film? Ah, the magic words. Um, you know, it just got picked up by Pure Flix, so uh, it'll be on Pure Flix. They're going to roll it out for their um, for their big Easter push, um, and then it, it'll be on uh, other uh, on, on other digital formats and. Uh, it will be in 13 theaters in, for two days in Utah, uh, Salt Lake City. So if you're in Salt Lake for two days and have nothing to do, um, go see uh, Miracle at Manchester five times. <laughs> oh, sounds, <laughs> Absolutely. That's good. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate you. Hey, we appreciate you and uh, you guys have a great day. Same to you. Thank you.